Lealholm has been described as the prettiest village in Yorkshire. Hey everyone, I'm Gia Loves Trains here and welcome to Exploring Yorkshire Long by Train, day 21. Now I am on the 0654 from Middlesbrough down the S Van line and I did look to see if there was that 0458 service that was advertised in Commondale Station on day 20. However, I think it must have got took off maybe in the last timetable change because it certainly doesn't exist anymore. I can't wait to get back down this line. I'm off to Danby, Castleton Moor, Glazedale, Leal Home, Rosmond and Egerton. Um, I am on the first train however I didn't catch the number of it because basically this train was connected to a Saltburn train at Middlesbrough and I accidentally got in the Saltburn bit and then realised, quickly got off, got onto the right train however in doing so I actually left my phone on the other train and the conductor has just rang through and made sure that my phone is safe basically so I am going to be out all day vlogging and not off my phone. I'm gonna have to do selfies on my camera, like, I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but so, um, yeah, I've never had that happen before. <laughs> It was 156491 and that answers the question I asked on day 20 about do 158s continue on to Whitby and yes they do because that 156 was actually connected to a 158. You don't see that often do you? Those two units being connected but um, yeah I will try when that comes back down later on in about two hours time when I get on it um, to get on the 158 there. <laughs> At Danby we've got one platform, Northern Trains, we've got uh, some plant pots along the platform, we've also got one of the herb line, um, herb pot things which I'm sure we're going to see a lot of at all the stations today. Uh, in this one there is a giant ladybird, uh, there's even some right down at the end of the platform, some little wooden trains and we do have a ticket machine here. I like this waiting shelter, we've got like a fake white tree in the corner, uh, it's well decorated with some butterflies and you can even have a read of a book if you so wish. I mean it gives me something to do if I need it. I did have written down that I'd go for a walk to the River Esk, I don't think it's too far away and I am going to try not to think about me leaving my phone on the train too much and just enjoy the day um, but the irony of it because I proper prepared proper prepared for today um, last night and I took loads of screenshots of maps to show me the routes I'd be taking when I visit these stations yeah also my girlfriend's gonna think that I'm blanking her until 10 o'clock tonight but um, not really a lot I can do about it right now I'm about to leave Danby now, the train is coming back in. I'm gonna get on the 158 bit, but I didn't quite make a note of the number of it. It's 158860. I'm at Castleton Moor. It is very sunny, which is absolutely lovely. Um, it has got one platform and it is operated by Northern Trains. At Castleton Moor there is an information display which is great because I get to tell the time although I only can tell the time when I'm in the station but then again I don't with the long waits I don't think I'm going to be out of the station um, for that long anyway so shouldn't be a problem. We have got a, a blue bench that is pretty much the only seating area in this station and again loads of plants here. Oh my days, I've just seen an advertisement on this ticket machine saying that you can now purchase day rangers and rovers from the ticket machine. Like, I don't know um, when exactly that started happening, but yeah, that's the first I've seen of it and that is wonderful news. Not quite sure how you do it, mind. I have been clicking on all these, but it doesn't seem to be coming up anywhere. 
Right, so I have got a plan to go to the co-op. Yes, there is actually a shop around here somewhere. However, I could have done with the map for that. But the great thing about these stations is that they all have local maps. Um, but whether or not it actually shows shops on there, I'm not quite sure. We'll have to check. No is the answer, but it does show a post office on here. So I think I'm going to try and head for that because chances are the co-op is around there somewhere. All right, I found it. I just needed to uh, get an extra drink just with it being so hot today. But I'm just sitting on a bench here in Castleton Moor. And I'll tell you what, it proper feels like I'm on holiday at the minute. It's a really lovely area. The sun's out, the birds are chirping. Yeah, I'm just gonna have like 10 minutes. I'll judge 10 minutes or 15 minutes or like that. And then I'll head back to the station. It is the same units that are going back up the line to Whitby now. I thought it would be because um, last time when I was on them, they were going terminating at Middlesbrough, so they just turned around there and come straight back. But I am on 156 491. I'm at Glazedale. The train was just sitting here for a few minutes because the driver had to get out to collect a token in order to proceed down the line. And it is worth noting that with these trains being doubled up, you do have to get on and off the train using the middle doors only. Um, and obviously with the platforms being so short, um, at the stations down this line you would think it would be a single unit however I was told by the conductor early today that um, they are all doubled up the units down this line now Glazedale is the first and potentially last station along the S Valley line that I'm going to within this series that has this layout but it is a northern only station and it's got two platforms and when you're at Glazedale you put your knickers on your head you put your knickers on your head you put your knickers on your head when you're at Glazedale you put your knickers on your head and you shout squishy babies Okay, this is a gorgeous looking station. We've got um, a waiting shelter over on platform one, but on platform two, there is a waiting room. And I'll tell you what, it's actually a lot cooler in the waiting room than it is out on the platform. But we've also got some absolutely stunning views of just loads of trees, which I absolutely love. And I think to get out of the station, we have to cross the Barrow Crossing there. So really not far from the station at all is Beggar's Bridge. It's basically a bridge that crosses the River Esk. This is where I wanted to come to here and I found it with absolute ease. Also, Beggar's Bridge is sometimes known as Lover's Bridge due to a legend. I can hear the next train coming in now. Obviously it is uh, the same two trains coupled up. I think I'll get on the 158 bit this time. It's easier to reach the toilets and then go come back to the middle door. So it's 158, 860, isn't it? I'm at Leal home where I've got my second longest wait of the day. Uh, two and a half hours I've got here, so I'm gonna go have a wonder, find the river and just see if there's anywhere to chill out. But first, let's have a look around the station. I was making sure there was an information display here for me to tell the time, but there is, so that's good. Um, also got a ticket machine, loads of plantage again down the platform. There is um, an indoor waiting shelter room type of thing there, however, I think it's having work done to it because it is uh, closed off. And ahead of me, there's a bench that says Leal Home on it, which is lovely. And when I got off the train, I just went and sat down on it. Um, but I'm now noticing that in front of the bench there are signs saying wet paint so I'm really hoping I don't have a blue bum right now. 
Okay, I don't think I do. It's hard to tell with the sunlight, to be honest, but um, it does have today's date on that sign as well. So, yeah. Leal Home is run by Northern Trains and it's got one platform. It's also got two exits slash entrances and just naturally walking down to the one at the end. Uh, yeah, let's go find where this river is. There are a lot of gates down the S Valley line, let me tell you, I'm forever trying to work out how to open gates. I was just following signs for the um, North Yorkshire Moors National Park, but it just sort of led me back round to the main road. Should have just stuck to the main road, because uh, I am just coming down to have a look at the River Esk. And not just look at it, because I've got such a long time here, there are some benches over there, so I'm going to go spend some time sitting on one of those. I'm sure Leal Home is named the... Uh, it said it on that leaflet I picked up yesterday. I should have looked in the station if there were any more of those leaflets. I'm sure it's like the prettiest town in Yorkshire, North Yorkshire, something like that. Um, but guess what? I've actually remembered to bring my word search book. I told you I have come prepared today and uh, at least this bit didn't go melons so up. Please didn't leave the word search book on the train. six four nine six and that has brought me to grosmont and grosmont is an overnight station and it's got one platform although you might think it's got four platforms but you probably won't because the three platforms i'm talking about are over there completely segregated from the station anyway but basically the grosmont station on the north yorkshire moors railway and that is quite a tongue twister for me um is just the At Grosmont there is a massive Grosmont sign. There are some benches um, along the platform with Grosmont. It looks like it says Grosmont. <laughs> oh, do you know the train was calling it Gromont as well? Yeah, I don't really know where I am to be honest, but um, yeah, there's some benches with the uh, Grosmont written on it. I do love it when there's benches in a station with the name of the station on them. Uh, there's also a indoorsy waiting shelter. Oh, it's actually nice to step into the shade for a bit. I've pretty much been in the sun all day. I mean, I do love the sun, but yeah, a little bit of a cool down in here, I think. I think I'm just gonna actually spend, it's uh, less than an hour that I've got at Grosmont, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna sit here, chill, and uh, just wait for the next train. <laughs> Just got off the last train of the day. It was the same train again, of course. One five six, four nine six. That's the one, and it is lovely to be able to actually press the buttons finally on these trains as well. Um, but that train has brought me to Egerton. Egerton's got northern trains, one platform. It's got this little train on the platform with some plant pot carriages. It has got an information display, so happy days. I have been able to tell the time at all the stations today. <laughs> There is a clock on the station building as well. A lot of the stations down here do have station buildings, but the buildings aren't actually used for like station purposes anymore. I think uh, most of them seem to be private residences, or as I would call them, houses. Not quite sure why I just use that term. Um, this one I thought was a house at first, then there's like a sign saying it's a playgroup thing, so I'm not too sure. Ah, leaflets. I can finally check what it was Leal Home is referred to as. Leal Home has been described as the prettiest village in Yorkshire. There we go. Well, there's certainly no step-free access at to Egerton. You do have to walk down a steppy ramp to, uh, to get out of the station. I've just had a look at the local area map and I'm headed for the river. I 
I was hoping there'd be some public toilets around because um, I didn't get a chance to go to the toilet on that train purely because it was so busy. I mean, I do now see why the trains have become doubled up down here. Then again, it was the school run. But yeah, I have noticed a common theme of public toilets being around these stations down the S Valley line. Found a path to walk along, no idea where this path is leading to. I do hear the river though. Oh yeah, literally walking right alongside the river actually. But I do actually have a four hour wait here at Exeton before my train back. It's in situations like this I think it could be worse. I could be waiting 10 hours for a train to Saltwick. But four hours, I mean, it is still quite long. So yeah, just having a walk to, uh, to kill some of the time really, but very, very pretty around here anyways. Well, the more I ride down this line, the more I fall in love with it. It's already up there as one of my highlights of the series so far. And it's also up there as one of my favorite lines to ride down in general. I uh, cannot wait to come back down here, of course, tomorrow morning to hopefully finish off this line. And also I can't wait to get back to Middlesbrough to hopefully collect my phone. I have got um, a few hours left here. I think I'm just gonna walk up and down this path. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching everyone. Fuzzy bye. There was a little like hovering fly there, I think, uh, wanting to get a closer look at my knickers. <laughs>